everyone, and welcome to Preset Wars, where I am going to be taking the most popular presets out there on the market and putting them head to head against each other. I'm a professional photographer and editor. I used to work from the Fine Lab, and we are going to just get into the ins and outs of all these presets. All right, so first up, we have Jose Villa versus Carolyn Tran. Now, Jose Villa's presets are under the Develop modules, whereas Carolyn Tran is under Refined. Both photographers are huge powerhouses as far as film photography and wedding photography goes. So I'm really excited to see how these two match up against each other. All right, so let's get started. This is a digital photo that I took just a few months ago. Um, and we are actually going to start with Jose Villa. Now, this, Jose Villa and Carolyn Tran, both, their preset comes in a pack. So there's more than just one. So we are going to be comparing his 400H, which is Fuji 400, on the Frontier scanner. And then we're going to be comparing it to Carolyn Tran's blush. So we are going to try Jose's first. And with any preset, you are going to have to make adjustments to... Um, you know, for your skin tones, for your exposure, all those things. So let's bump up the exposure just a little bit. And because of the rocks, there was a little bit more of a cool tone. So we're going to warm it up just a little. And a lot of this too has to do with how you shoot in camera. I've noticed that with a lot of these film emulative presets, they do much better when you shoot wide open. So we're talking, you know, f 1.2 or 1.4 um, all the way up to even 2.8 when you get up to those higher numbers like you know 4.0 5.6 they do still work but you don't get as well of a mimic of that texture of film um, so this is Jose Villas I'm gonna warm it up just a little bit here again so you can see it's very, very soft. Um, those colors are really punchy, but the actual contrast can be really, really soft when you shoot it in this way. So there is Jose Villa, and let's take a look at Carolyn Tran. So we're actually gonna go um, same picture. So Carolyn Tran blush. Now you can see right away, it does say blush, so you kinda have to assume that there's gonna be a little bit more of a magenta side, which there is. Um, hers, I think I'm just going to bump up the warmth just a little, and I almost feel like that's good right there. So hers is a little bit less, t you know, to mess with, I think, um, but let's go back to, to Jose's and see how they compare here. So here's Jose's, and here's Carolyn's. They're very subtle differences. So with Carolyn's, I feel like her, her blacks are a little bit deeper and her reds are a little stronger. Jose's has more of a muted look. He's got a softer finish to it. Um, the highlights are really brought down. And I feel like his has a little bit of a cooler undertone tone with a little hint of magenta is the main differences there. So again, here's Jose Villa and Carolyn Tran. Now I wanted to throw in a color photo um, just because I feel like whenever you have you know wonky colors or unexpected colors sometimes you get these little surprises <laughs> with presets. So let's try it on this um, bouquet fo photo with the really pretty pink in the background. So here's Jose Villa. Again this is Fuji 400 on a Frontier scanner. And you'll notice that immediately the highlights go down so you can see those details really, really well in, in the white flowers and the whiter flowers. Um, but the highlights are down so much that it, it really, on this particular photo, kind of makes it a little bit flat. Um, and let's bump up the exposure just a little bit, see if we can clean that up. Um, and it does kind of have almost a cooler tone again, so I'm just gonna bump it up just a little. So that actually does look very similar to film, in my opinion. Um, there are, it, it might be a little softer than I typically shoot, um, but depending on how you shoot your film, it could look like this. And I know for a lot of people, when they're shooting details, um, or if they're shooting, you know, florals, they like their highlights way down like this so that all those little minute details in the whites can be brought out. Um, so just keep that in mind. So moving on to Carolyn Tran. 
and blush. So hers is a little bit more contrasty. You get a little bit more of a punch. I'm just gonna up the exposure here just a little bit. And again, I'm well, actually, I don't actually think that I need to warm hers up. Maybe I'll warm up just a teeny bit. So hers is a little bit punchier. You'll see a little bit of a stronger contrast in those blacks. Um, but I feel like with hers, there isn't as much of a color correction to do. Um, I mean, both have minor color corrections, but let's just look back. So here's Jose Villa. Again, very, very soft. Um, a little bit on the magenta side and a little bit on the cooler side. And here's Carolyn Tran. She's a little punchier. Um, it has much more of that kind of wow effect. Um, not so much the softer, but she kind of goes for the punch there. The colors really stand out. Um, but I really, really love both of these, depending on your style. So Jose Villa, again, very soft. Carolyn Tran, a little bit more punchy. So sometimes when we look at presets, they are always kind of showing these really light and airy, really beautiful, clean, minimalistic photos. And of course, presets are gonna look really, really good on those. But I wanted to show you um, one that's a little bit different that has kind of a darker background that has these little like highlights in the hair and I wanted to show you how these presets match up with that as well. Okay so we're gonna start with Jose Villa again. This is 400 each which is Fuji 400 on the frontier. So immediately it kind of brings it down, it cools it off and you can see in the skin just a little bit there's that hint of magenta again. But like with any preset, again, it's not going to be a one-click fix. You're going to have to adjust it just a little bit. So I'm going to bring up the exposure. I'm going to fix the white balance just a little bit. And I feel like that is pretty good. So even considering that the background doesn't have, you know, this really white minimalistic look to it, it actually does a really good job with those sunlit highlights there. So let's go on and see how Carolyn Trans does. So here is the original. And let's go to blush. Now hers, instead of kind of um, darkening, it, darkening it, it actually brings up the exposure a bit. Um, and so I'm going to bring the exposure down a little on hers. So you can see on hers, the undertones here are very, very red, um, which again, this is her blush preset, so that's to be expected a little bit. Um, so when I say undertones, I mean that in the shadows, in the blacks, is where you're going to see those reds. And you can change those um, in post as well, um, but that's what this preset is kind of going towards. So I'm going to bring it down just a teeny bit, bring down those reds just a little bit. And there you have it. So here is Carolyn Trans, and here's Jose Villas. Now this is hard for me because I feel like I had to make less adjustments to Carolyn Trans, but I am more satisfied, I think, with Jose Villas on this one because I, I do get the softer look and I get the cleaner colors. Now if I were to spend a little bit more time cleaning up this color here, if I didn't want that red so strongly, I could kind of move that around a little bit. But I actually like the softer look of Jose Villas here instead of the kind of stronger, deeper look on Carolyn Trans. Although I will say that the flowers punch more and the sunlit highlights in their hair punch more in Carolyn Trans than Jose Villas, but I almost feel like Jose Villas wins out on this one particularly. And I also wanted to show you an example where there are more truer whites supposed to be in the photo because I feel like the stronger colors are gonna come out the most in these presets with the white background. So let's try Jose's on this one. And again, immediately the highlights come down the contrast goes up and you can kind of see a little clearer here how he has a cooler tone and more magenta skin tone. Now again, let's just try and up this just a little bit and warm up the skin tone just a little bit. And that's probably about where it's going to be. For me, I'm not really loving how deep these contrasting colors are and how faded the whites look. 
Um, but let's take a look at Carolyn Trans here. So we're going to go blush, and wow, that really kind of blows it out. Let's pull it down, and that's really, really warm. So let's pull this down a little bit, and that's really pink, so let's pull that in a little bit. It's a little bit better. So I feel like it's really kind of a toss-up. You're really kind of, with the whites especially, because there's such strong undertones on some of these presets. So Jose's has more of a magenta, you can really see here, magenta and cooler. And um, Carolyn's has more of a warmer with a, a green undertone. I think with the whites, you're gonna have a really difficult time either way. Um, you're really just gonna have to make sure that you know how to color correct well. Um, but this just shows you where the stronger colors are in each preset. So Jose, again, um, you can see that his presets are kind of more towards the cooler tones with that undertone of magenta, whereas Carolyn's is kind of warmer with that green undertone. But I really feel like both have different strengths. Um, Jose's look really good on some of them, and Carolyn's look really good on some of them too. So it's really kind of a a toss up here depending on how you shoot. Okay, so for the last one, I wanted to do one of those really, really pretty editorial photos because this is really what they kind of sell their presets with. Um, so I just wanted to show you how they can look on those kinds. So we are gonna go with Jose first. And again, it's so interesting because his presets, their kind of strategy is to lower those highlights and kind of go on the darker side at first and Carolyn seems to be the opposite so let's brighten this up just a little bit and it's still very very um, pink so I'm gonna bring this down and then I'm gonna bring this down and it does actually it does look like film but I'm not loving how it's looking on this one let's try Carolyn Trans so Carolyn, as I said, it kind of goes the opposite direction where she goes warmer and brighter right away. So let's bring the temperature down just a little bit. Let's get a little bit more neutral in those reds. <clears throat> and you know, it's, I, wow. I feel like Jose wins on this one um, just because it looks a little bit more like film but I tend to like Carolyn's skin tones a little better. So again, here is Jose and here is Carolyn. I have to say, I really like the fact that Jose's textures really do look like film to me. <clears throat> My only kind of hesitation with it is even with the texture of film, I feel like I'm always kind of battling that undertone of magenta. Now, some people really like that. Um, so if you do, this is totally for you. Um, but I personally don't, I, I kind of like to go more towards the, the cyan and green. Um, but there is that undertone. Now with, with Carolyn, I feel like she doesn't have that undertone but she doesn't quite nail the film look every time. And a lot of that is gonna have to do with how you shoot as well. So it's not even so much the preset as how we are shooting. So I really don't know, you guys. I love how the textures look on, on Jose Villas, um, but I really kind of love the more added punch on Carolyn Trans. I Okay, so we just went through a really in-depth comparison of Jose Villa and Carolyn Trans presets. I don't know if there's a clear winner. Honestly, I was hoping that this would be like a more bloody battle, um, but it really just depends on one, how you shoot first and foremost, and two, kind of what your preferences are. I feel like Jose really nails those textures, but that magenta undertone can be kind of frustrating as an editor to kind of weed out. Um, Carolyn's very much more punchy and more like in your face and I actually really love that too. It does still look like like film, just a little bit of an added depth there, um, but I feel like her skin tones are a little bit more easy to manipulate. So I don't know if there's a clear winner. I would love to hear from you. So if you would comment below and tell me who you think won, I would love to kind of hear 
and tally those votes and see what the majority is because I'm kind of at a loss. This was not as, as fierce a battle as I thought because obviously both photographers are so good. They've obviously worked with really great um, developers to develop their styles and presets, but really it just depends on what you want to have in your arsenal. So that's it for Preset Wars this week. Please hit the subscribe button so that you can make sure that you don't miss next week's Preset Wars. And again, please comment below on which you think should have won. And I will see you next week. <laughs>